do the dance, I'm speeding, speeding. No, I'm not slime, but they know how I'm bleeding. Look, bitch, she call it, she said that she need me. I don't see nothing, I'm feeling like Steve. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Just Michi. And right now, I'm about to go one on one with Keys. I'm gonna let him know, say who he is and where his music at. So, what's up with you? How you know us? Lately, you've been having a big buzz. Like, how everything been with the music scene for you? To be honest with you, bro, it's been real quiet. I've been just in the pocket for a little bit. I had a, a distro, a little distro deal that I, you know, got myself into. But mm -hmm. other than that, I just been low trying to get up out of that. Do my shit. You got something, anything else? Like, what's new? What's coming for the people? Um, shit, I do got some shit from the hit the streets, you know. Me and Tay Sharky working on a new tape, you know how that shit goes. That's, that's funny. What, how that happen? Let's talk about that. Like, what, what got that into going on? Um, to be honest, shit, I reached out to him, you know, and we made that on one track, and that shit was fire. That we, shit was we, fire. We turned up the city, and then motherfuckers really was fucking with us. So, you know, we made a few more songs and shit. And that and shit, we went from there. It went from there. Yeah. That's what's up. So like lately, who you feel from paying attention? You noticing what artists you've been looking at lately? You know, from the mad doing their thing that you like. Yeah. Um, Tay, of course. You know. Yeah. I fuck with Uchi. You know, the whole we the ops. They they cool. But I fuck with my nigga Pac Man. Um, Br. Rayshawn, everybody, you know, everybody. It's a couple. It's a couple, it's a couple. I ain't gonna lie, that city, that's why the music scene out here is real interesting. That's a lot of motherfuckers I can't even think of. You know, yeah, it I is. I, I, chief, you know, on the spot. If I'm leaving motherfuckers know. out, y'all know I rock with y'all anyway. You just know how that shit go. That's how it go. Let's talk about the thing with like you know you do like you headline big events up here actually like you yeah. one of a few people who actually been at Freak Fest you've been yeah. at Summer Fest yeah. in West Coast you headline like a lot of big events how, how did that start? Um, to be honest, man, it was the grind. We was grinding. I was with my boy Mondo. We were trying to do anything possible to be seen, filling out applications, doing showcases, and you know one day we just got we got picked, we got chose. And shit. That's love. And uh, actually, the first time they got chose, it was my it was my homie Mondo. Nice. And uh, he did Summer Fest when I was locked up. And he always promised me, like, you know what? Since you missed the first Summer Fest, I'm going. I got you. We gonna come back, and I got you. Don't worry about it. And sure enough, they rocked that bitch. They hit him back, and of course, he already told him, like, yeah, you know, I got my boy Keys. And that's how that shit happened. Summer Fest. Yep. And now. That opened up, you know, opportunity for me to perform at Freak Fest. Man, that's amazing. How was that stage? Like, I, I being and seeing it, all the people and like being around that crowd and the energy. How that made you feel doing that shit? To be honest, that's me. Like, that, like shit, that shit made me feel great. It yeah. made me more eager. It made me hungry. It made you hungry because you want to do that shit again. Like, that's can it get bigger? That's an adrenaline that you can't explain, that's especially when they fuck with your music. So. Definitely something like it was just something that's different, huh? Definitely. How long you feel like you've been on the music scene for a little bit? Like to how you young? feel when it started? To you, when you feel yourself elevating it and when it started taking off? Um, to be honest, I really just started doing music. Like, I mean, I always been into music. I used to engineer myself, and then you know, one day I just recorded the track and I sent it to my homies, and they were like, "Yeah, that shit hot." Like, and I just started pushing. I really only been doing music for like. Two years. Two years? Not even. I was locked up for nine months. So uh -huh. I dropped the tape, got locked up for nine months, got out, and then I dropped another tape, and I'm here today. That's love. Bro. So one thing I know is what most people say, um, when they feel like they get locked up, it's a setback, and they got to overcome or catch up on the way. Like, did you feel like, was it hard for you to get back on top of it? Or, like, did you know on the tape that you released before you said you got locked up, you came out, that kind of did a decent buzz for you. So when you got up, it was, it was easy for you to catch up. Yeah. How was that? Um, actually, coming out of jail was just, like, the best thing that could actually happen. Yeah. They were so pressed for me when I was locked up. My homie Mondo was promoting all my shit. Yeah, he they was. They was waiting for me. I'm talking about he was, he was, he was shouting me out everywhere, so everybody was looking for me. And then right when I got out, I dropped the tape, stupid. Everybody was 
expecting it, and it just was a hit. Like, it was a hit. It went, it went the way it was supposed to went. Yeah. Honestly, I was one day. I was drunk. I was in the studio, <laughs> and I was uh. I was doing my ad libs and shit, and out of nowhere, I'm like, stupid. Motherfuckers was like pissing me off, and I just turned around into the mic, and I was like, man, stupid. And that's how and that then, shit ended up happening. Yeah, no cap. That's nuts. So I ran with it. And shit, stupid the mixtape. You stupid the mixtape. All right, so, you know, we just chopped it up with Keys, and we gonna call that five minute with Keys. Y'all know what's coming up with him. I'm gonna let him outro himself real quick. Go on here and talk to him. Man, y'all know it's Keys, man. Get at me. I do the dance on speed and speed it. No, I'm not slime, but they know how I'm bleeding. Little bitch, she call it, she said that she need me. I don't see nothing.